Hello, my name is Shiva and I will show you how to apply a border to a resume paper. When applying for a job, you must stand out from your fellow applicants. Your resume should look its best. Unfortunately, as a rule, most employers prefer a straightforward resume that is clear and concise without any frills or pictures. Adding a simple border to your resume can help make it stand apart from the rest while still looking attractive and professional. The first step of applying a border to a resume paper Scan your resume and save to your computer. If your resume is already saved on your computer, like mine, you can skip it to step two. Step two would be open your resume in your word processing software. Here, I will use Microsoft Office Word, and then I will drag my scanned resume to the word processing software. Next, click on the page layout tab and then click on the page border icon. If you are using a program other than Microsoft Word and cannot find the page border icon, simply click on help and then type borders into the search bar. After that, scroll through the page border options. Choose from solid or dotted lines, shading, line thickness, and your border placement whether you want to put it for the whole document or the section that you want, the choice is yours. After that, click on the options you like and then click the OK button. Here, I will choose the shadow setting with a thick border with navy color and then I will click OK. Now you can see my resume is more attractive than before and it stands out. And after that, the last part is click save to save the border to your resume. Save your new resume with a different name from the original so that you can change the border or update your resume as needed. For example, here I will name my resume with this, resume number one, and then I will save it here. And for example, I feel like my border is not too good or I want to change the border. I can just uh, I can just reborder it and then try to apply another border that I want. For example, for the second one, I will choose the box setting and then the dotted lines with the thickness like this and then with orange color and then I'll press OK and I can make another new whole border like this. Well, keep your border simple. Most employers find loud and busy borders distracting. So I'm just gonna keep my border simple like this, these dotted lines and one like this. And then I can save it. I can save as as a Word document with different name. For example, I already chose resume number one and I will choose resume number two. Okay, that's it for applying a border to a resume paper. I hope it's useful for you and have a good day.